From Hell's Pulpit to the Mosh Pit, Ghost is far from an anonymous band. Here are the most prominent figures in the clergy. Papa Emeritus I was the first demonic pope character of Ghost to emerge from their premiere album Opus Eponymous. It was the moment church went metal. The skull-esque makeup, mitre, and robes adorned with upside-down crosses, which all the Papa iterations would wear in one form or another, were the brainchild of lead singer Tobias Forge. The musician had a different approach to occult metal as opposed to the expected course of screams and swears and explosive guitar riffs. He delivers the lyrics of a black sermon with a hypnotically melodic voice. Ghost first formed in 2006, and the release of Opus Eponymous in 2010 saw the emergence of the first of a line of anti-popes blessing the stage. The vestments of Papa Emeritus I are mostly black, crowned with a silver mitre and slashed with red panels glittering with the repeated cross of St. Peter. Watching Papa perform on stage, it's clear he goes beyond just throwing on a costume to embody the character, as he appears to be leading a blasphemous mass on stage. As Opus Eponymous gave way to the band's second album, Papa Emeritus I was overthrown by Papa Emeritus II. The successor appeared with an even ghastlier face and more elaborate vestments that were almost completely black, with the only flashes of heavenly light coming from his silver mitre and ornamental inverted crosses. Forge was still anonymous at this point, almost as anonymous as the nameless ghouls who made up the rest of the band. In the middle of 2014, one of the ghouls leaked the impending replacement to Papa Emeritus II to Louder, as the album cycle came to a close and teased possible candidates for the papacy. The ghoul in question was referring only to the character and not Forge himself, but remember that Forge still cloaked himself in anonymity during this era. Deepening the mystery was the mention of the band considering candidates, when the only ones to be considered were coming into being in Forge's imagination. Okay, oh, oh here goes nothing. <laughs> Papa Emeritus III is actually supposed to be the younger brother of Emeritus II, born only three months later. This Papa's skull face is more abstract, and his papal robes are slashed with purple, which is a slightly less nightmarish departure from his predecessor. Metal Insider announced that the transformation in 2015, when Ghost supposedly recruited Papa III for their latest album, Meliora. When Forge still went unidentified, the band wanted fans to believe that each Papa was a new singer, rather than a different persona their only lead singer conjured up. Another nameless ghoul told Loudwire that the succession of Papas was not unlike different actors playing the same role. The same ghoul went on to say that the imagery and music of Ghost are inextricably linked. The band had no visuals when they put out their first EP, but their ghoulish image soon followed. In another Loudwire interview, Forge himself admitted that he had a reason for killing off previous Papas. While they all succeeded and he never had a favorite, he needed to keep his audience engaged somehow. Forge said, If we just continued with Papa to Papa to Papa to Papa, that would grow very boring. The Papa characters vanish temporarily after Papa 3's death, though they are briefly seen as corpses in the Chapter 3 Back on the Road video. In a move that almost seems sacrilegious, the next frontman on the band was a mere cardinal. Also known as Papa Emeritus Zero, Papa Nil is the most ancient Papa character, and he first appeared at a Gothenburg concert. Papa Nil has the sunken face of a mummy and the gilded robes of an archangel. He always seems to be on his last breath, shambling on stage with a walking stick in one hand and an oxygen mask over his mouth. This Papa is a central character in Ghost promo videos from his wheezing entrance in Chapter 1 New Blood, where he insists his bloodline goes back generations upon generations, to his remembered 60s youth in Chapter 8 Kiss the Go-Goat. The videos unravel Nil's backstory, revealing that he was once a rocker in 60s Los Angeles. The band supposedly played their first gig to promote their EP Seven Inches of Satanic Panic at the Whiskey A Go Go bar right on the Sunset Strip. Seven Inches was Ghost's actual 2019 vinyl record, which his aging fingers revealed at the end of Chapter 8, as he claimed it was time to re release the EP that gave his band their big break in 1969. He appears on the cover as a psychedelic nightmare. Inevitably, Papa Nil went on to die like the others, but unlike them, he was eventually resurrected. They're on. <laughs> they, uh, this, this is gonna happen. The poster ghoul for the album Prequel wasn't an undead pope, but a cardinal sans white face paint, though still rocking the look of blackened eye sockets. Cardinal Copia has no relation to the exalted bloodline of the Papas. This is something Papa Nil keeps endlessly complaining about starting in Chapter 1 New Blood. The video, Chapter 7 New World Red Row, is an homage to Stephen King's The Shining. Papa Nil repeatedly types, all work and no play makes Papa a bad dad while Cardinal Copia navigates the clergy headquarters on a tricycle and runs into the same sorts of terrors Danny Torrance encounters in the movie. Notably, there is a pair of twin girls who walk on either side of Papa Nil in some of the videos. They channel those creepy twins that beckon Danny to come play with them by having them materialize in front of the Cardinal and try to get him to join in a ghastly game of Red Rover before they suddenly vanish. Forge started rumors that Cardinal Copia could survive for more than one tour, as he told Australia's The Music Podcast in 2019. He said, 
Right now, if everything goes according to plan, we're hoping for Cardi to be strong enough and cool enough to possibly do something that none of the previous ones have done, and that's basically to do two cycles. Turned out, Cardinal Copia escaped the fate of death to be re-anointed as Papa Emeritus IV. No wonder he inherited Cardinal Copia's eye makeup. Though Tobias Forge previously said he wasn't going to create any more Papas, he morphed Cardinal Copia into one. The transformation is captured in Ghost's Life Eternal video. The clip shows Cardinal Copia somberly walking down the hall of the clergy's mausoleum headquarters. It then gives way to legions of adoring fans with and without makeup and masks. The video ends with an explosion of smoke and confetti that makes way for the newly mitered Papa. Papa Emeritus IV is the flashiest Papa character yet, with jewel-encrusted vestments decked out in gold thread. He went from Cardinal to Pope to usher in the era of Ghost's latest album, Impura. Yes, it's a little bit uh, different. Ever wonder who those spooky masked figures behind Papa or Cardinal Copia are? The nameless ghouls of Ghost had their identities set aside for more emphasis on the music and the mythos that Forge created for the Ghost universe. Ghouls have come and gone, but at least some have been revealed. Guitarist Martin Persner was one iteration of the nameless ghoul known as Omega. The former bandmate of Forge played alongside him in Magna Carta Cartel, pre-Ghost, and was also the first nameless ghoul to reveal his human form. Initially, there was skepticism surrounding whether he was telling the truth, since his face always remained hidden behind some sort of mask. But the rings he wears in the video announcing his parting ways with the band in 2017 are the same as those Omega wore up until then. In an interview, Persner explained how much influence he had on the band, saying, I wrote some songs, but mostly it was Tobias's own songs, and I would come along maybe and say, oh, it should be like, and we would fight, as always. Why Persner gave up Ghost may always be a mystery. He gave a cryptic response when asked the question, indicating it was too personal. Persner resurrected Magna Carta Cartel and has been with them since his exit from Ghost. Chris Catalyst is the face behind the nameless ghoul, otherwise known as Ether, the former Sisters of Mercy guitarist who has also played with bands such as Terror Vision, Ugly Kid Joe, and Ginger Wildheart, recently unmasked himself on Twitter after Ghost's European Imperator. The entire band is unmasked in the group photo he tweeted, along with the members of supporting acts Twin Temple and Uncle Acid and the Deadbeats. If you really zoom in, you can see him flashing a peace sign over Tobias Forge's right shoulder. The face to the left of Forge is thought to be guitarist Per Erickson, formerly of Catatonia and Bloodbath, whose ghoul alias would be Fire if he really is one of these creatures. There has been no confession from him yet. Um, we never told anyone. The nameless ghouls were all male until 2016, when two ghoulettes were introduced to the band. The identity of the first ghoulette slipped when a finger tattoo identified her as bassist Megan Thomas of the all-female Led Zeppelin tribute band Les Zeppelin who has also been missing from concerts for no apparent reason. How long she stayed on with Ghost is unknown. As of 2018, another ghoulette joined the lineup because of a telltale mask style. The ghouls started out as faceless and genderless beings in hooded black robes. When Papa Emeritus I swapped out his black vestments for ghastly white, the ghouls did the same, with masks that covered their entire faces except for two eerie eye holes. With the rise of Papa Emeritus II, they were back in black, with black leather masks covering all but their eyes. The ghouls backing Papa Emeritus III wore mouthless, horned demon face masks. It was the shinier versions of those chrome masks that appeared in 2018, which had female versions that featured longer, molded hair. Ghoulettes now touring with Ghost are thought to be Cirrus and Sunshine, better known as Laura Scabra of Diamond Cobra and musical theater performer Sophie Amelkin. Their suspected identities haven't been officially confirmed or denied. Supposed nun-sister Imperator is the forbidden lover of Papa Nil in ghost lore. Whatever vows these members of the clergy took evidently did not involve chastity. Sister is the only main character who does not play with the band. Her main role is to build mystery and anticipation in ghost music videos and series of promo videos, and Forge uses her to do just that, and still leaves fans wondering at the end. She is first seen in Chapter 1 New Blood when she announces to Papa Nil that fresh blood is needed in the clergy, and that fresh blood later turns out to be Cardinal Copia. Whether he actually belongs there is something they continue arguing about. Nil and Sister argue even through her lengthy stay in the hospital after nearly being crushed in a car accident in Chapter 4 The Accident. In Chapter 5 The Call, a completely bandaged sister makes her best attempt to dial him on a rotary phone, and they proceed to review the Omen movies. The sexual tension between Nil and Sister is obvious in the videos they appear in, coming to a climax in a Valentine's Day video clip. Shrouded in mystery, the clergy are supposed to be the larger fictional cult from which Ghost spawned. They are never seen, but always heard on social media. Metal Hammer describes them as beyond powerful, but never actually appearing anywhere. While the Papa's sister and Cardinal Copia are regarded as clergy since they are supposed to be nuns and priests, they are still not the clergy, who are supposedly some higher power. 
The clergy surrounded Cardinal Copio when he was re-anointed to become Papa Emeritus IV. They can also decide when it is time to kill off the latest Papa, or potentially morph him into something else. The clergy members are most visible through their announcements. Ghost social media posts and YouTube videos often open with, message from the clergy. This is always followed by, we wish to inform you before the announcement is made. But who are they? What we do know is that Sister Imperator is the head. Even after all the reveals, Ghost continues to be shrouded in mystery, and there are some things that may never crawl out of the inner sanctum.